Look, pay I me. I start. Don't. I start a little <laughs> daycare. Center. Oh my gosh, that's your guys's venture. Oh, a drop off daycare, and <laughs> parents come to the door, and it's those two. Yeah, looks I safe. Just smell like weed. <laughs> In Austin, it actually might not be bad. They that would people would go to it. They'd be like, it's so cool. It's like so progressive. It's like these two, you know, one's like a pothead, the other, the other one's like re- works out. That's all I know. That's it. He doesn't say much. <laughs> he doesn't say much, but he definitely works out. That's the one quality. When you think Dan, you think he works pick, out. He picks stuff up. Contra- what do we? What do you want me to? T- what do you want me to tell him? You're a contrarian. But you've never loved anything in your you're life. You're amazing at betting on golf. Like, what would help uh, the parents feel? Um, I don't know. You know all the great food spots. Yeah, that's true. No, no, no. He hates all the great food spots. That's yeah, not yeah, true. yeah, yeah, really yeah. I, no, no, no. I, I've given you good recommendations. That's, yeah, that's not. Yeah, you just hate he them has, yourself. But then as soon as I, I get like around it. to eating it there, he tells me that it's not good anymore. Yeah, nah, you're too late. Yeah, oh, that's number three now. Yeah. I'm uh, like, fuck, dude. You're too old to do the good coke and go to the good parties. I you know. just missed it. I know. Um, oh, my gosh. What would your daycare be called? Well, I would also be a doggy daycare, so you'd drop off both at the same time. Because that's our niche. Now, and that's pretty smart, too, because then the dogs can just entertain the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're good. Exactly. Then the security cameras aren't for the kids. They're for the dogs. But if you also want to watch the kids, they're there. You know how you get the live feed? Have you ever had a dog? Have you ever boarded a dog before? Yeah, yeah. You get like the stupid live feed? Yes, we have. I got, I, uh, at a drop-off kid daycare, I got the live feed. But I've also done it with the dog. I didn't know they do that with the kids. I thought it was frowned upon. What? The, The live feed of the kids. No, because they're all just, like, running around in a thing. Like, you want to make sure that... I'm not one of those that, like, would call and be like, hey, I see him on top of the slide. Like, you just want to make sure that they stopped crying after you left. The only people that would ever use that are terrible women and even more terrible men whose kids don't go to that daycare. Listen, yeah. No, gonna, it's like an encrypted thing. Like, there's a different yeah. code every time. We're going to yeah. really... I'm sure, like, Sunny Valley daycare is unhackable. Me and Georgia are just going to lean into just the uh, the, the right-wing audience and the, the fans and their, the parents. Uh, they're, we're going to put these kids to work. It's a, it's a Tim yeah, Kennedy yeah, yeah. daycare. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to teach these Kennedy kids the five. value of a dollar. <laughs> We're going to, you know, Less math put them science, hourly work. More like digging trenches. Yes. More like a brick masonry. Manual labor. Are you uh, going to teach them about gambling and crypto? No, we're not, not teaching that. them any of those. We're teaching okay. them the value of a dollar, hard work, and what it means to be a man. I kind of like it, you guys. Washing cars, changing yeah. oil. And Dan will just be nagging them the whole time. Mm-hmm. So that they will never feel like they have, they're have Adequate. Enough. Yeah. 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 It should be called I'm Your Daddy Now. Yeah. Ooh. Or Stepdads. That's the that's Is the that name problematic, of it. guys? Step Call dads. us daddy. Call us daddy. There you go. Boom. Sounds great. <laughs> Anyone with kids is like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That hits. <laughs> that hits a little bit weird, right? But we are gonna work on a name for your daycare. By yeah. the way, I like it do, it doesn't seem totally fleshed out yet, but I do like the concept. Mm-hmm. And I think I would take my boys there. Yeah. yeah. Well, the important thing is, too, I don't want you guys to learn anything about children. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want, because I don't want, I don't want, like, something like empathy to seep in. No, no, no. Or, like, I don't want them to think the kids are cute. No. None of that. It's like you're taking your kids someplace where two guys that don't really like you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Or kids. Or kids. Right. Are going to shape. Your like, children. Yeah, yeah. We'll means, take them to the new studio. They'll cut the lawn. They'll paint some of the walls. Yeah, well. I did this by as the a way, child, I'm by the way. I'm fucking into it. You did? My dad would send me to Pennsylvania to a guy who had, like, bunk beds in a separate house where all the kids whoa, would stay whoa, 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 for months whoa, on whoa, time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the direction. <laughs> we need to tell this episode. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's all this episode is about now. Tell yeah. us more about your children. Tell us more about your suppressed... Childhood memories. No, so like it was just wrestling camp 
during the week a lot of times, but sometimes I would stay there for like multiple weeks on end and I would do yard work during the weekends. Now, when you say wrestling camp. Uh Uh-huh. With other kids? Yeah, we would all just, there's like probably 30 bunk beds in one room Mm -hmm. and like there wasn't really a TV, but there was just quarter game that was kind of like like hockey where you would like swing a quarter and if you got it in the hole, they had to remove a peg. Weird amount of baby oil around. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't feel safe anymore. Did a magician? Did I don't a ma- feel safe for you. Did a, did a magician come? <laughs> no, but one night it was, was pizza night, and it was the best white pizza ever. They wouldn't huh. give us regular pizza; it was just only white pizza. Okay. And we got that one night a week. What? Okay. And what'd you get the other nights? Like crust sp- from the it's like big bowls of spaghetti or like uh, loaves of bread what and the turkey fuck sandwiches. What's happening? You were in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in a prison. Where? <laughs> Were you? And then we would just go into bed and we'd close the chain and go right to sleep. Yeah. And then we would be let out. They got to be outdoors for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, like, all he did was eat weird food at specific times, do manual labor, and I guess the leisure activity was hand to hand combat. <laughs> This seems accurate. Every yeah. morning we'd wake yeah. up Where at 5 were you? Age. What age? Were uh, you with uh, Otto Warmburner in <laughs> North Korea? No, was you, what was this Fox? What's the, Fox what's the wrestling one? Fox, oh, Fox Catcher. Yeah. Where they got was shot this by a Fo- Fox Catcher guy? Because no. I see this happening now. No, DuPont had already killed Dave Schultz at this point. Oh, okay, great, great. So I there was, was no eight. problematic wrestling behavior at that time. I was eight. Eight? That's... But wait, did you stay Isn't like your oldest that age, or is he seven? <laughs> yes, he's eight. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, that's insane, Giorgio. It's <laughs> not normal. And, and by the way, it was like cost your parents like five dollars, I guess. That's well, it, this is the poor version of what Olivia Wilde and Jason today. Yeah, yeah, doing. yeah. They got money off because I stayed on the weekends and worked. So they let me like stay oh for Oh my for God. <laughs> oh my God. And by the way. He was doing work study as an eight year old for his prison camp. Oh my gosh. And I mean, part of me is like, okay, maybe that's the way. I mean, you're a very hard worker, but gosh. Uh, shout out to Robbie Waller's wrestling camp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's please. Um, I'm sure if we look it up, there's no like pending lawsuits or anything. And I'm sure it's still going up and running just his, like they did in the old days. His son took it over, but yeah. Yeah. And then uh, for our camp too, me and or our, our daycare center. Daycare, yeah. Uh, the drop-off. entire walls will just be full of Dakota Meyer quotes. Yeah, yeah. Iron sharpens, sharpens. iron. Iron. And we all know that. Um, I'm traumatized for you, and I know that's not your most traumatizing story. So we'll no, carry I, I, I literally thought that was normal they, as there I started this conversation. There's a serious fondness in his voice. <laughs> yeah. When he started the story, right? Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's almost like like Olivia Wilde's <laughs> nanny. <laughs> it's almost like when I was sent away to wrestling prison where I may or may not... Boston Joe just said that was this week's crime corner. Yeah, yeah. Like, I need to look up that that camp right now. I'm, like, so sorry for little Giorgio. But, look, it fucking worked, right? If you weren't... At what? I, I learned how to I know, I don't either. know. You, you work it hard. Kept, it worked at detaining him for <laughs> yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he did become a felon at one point. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There is, like, a whole nother Giorgio that we've yeah. left behind. Well, you, what is prison? Prison is just, you know, uh, criminal school. Yeah. Right. yeah. Real honest talk, though. Like, the first few days, I was like, this ain't so bad. It was kind of like camp. <laughs> but I was in jail. It was supposed to be camp. No, that's because your camp was like jail. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. Yeah. You were Giorgio in, went to real jail. I was like, I've been here before. <laughs> you, were in tr- you were in trouble. You were being punished. We would play dominoes for our desserts. For your desserts? So, like in prison, how you gamble cigarettes, mm-hmm. you were the children were gambling dominoes. desserts and biscuits. Giorgio. <laughs> it's My the worst sweet, story I've ever heard. Sweet Giorgio, but every, you guys, have you ever gotten him on like telling story? Like, every story is like this. <laughs> if he ever dares to like go back into the vault, 
which again, he's like, I don't know if Giorgio's the real name. I don't know what what we've left behind. Like, right. there's like, this. Do you weird... actually want me and Giorgio to talk about our childhoods? Because I don't think you do. 